Welcome to Red Dead 2, and thanks for joining us. Today, we are going to learn how to craft the legendary alligator gambler's hat. What you're going to need is 22 bucks, one legendary alligator skin, and two perfect snake skins. Let's go ahead and start with uh, where to get that legendary alligator skin uh, right there. Now, what you're going to need is to find the first clue. There are three clues. The first one, of course, is going to be the hardest of the three. So we've got a map outlined over here as to where you can find that clue. Uh, once you do that, uh, you're going to hold down the triangle button, of course, for each one of these clues. Now, one of the keys to finding this is to know how to use the tracking feature. Using the tracking feature will allow you to locate each one of these clues uh, by pushing in both the L3 and R3 buttons at the same time. Now here of course we approach clue number two and we're moving forward, moving forward and uh, oh there it is right there. We're going to inspect the carcass by holding down the triangle button of course. And now it's time to move forward to clue number three. Once again, we are going to be relying heavily on the tracking feature by pushing in both L3 and R3 at the same time to get to that. And then once we get there, we're going to hold down the triangle button. A good question many of you may have is what type of weapon do we need to use to get this legendary alligator? And the answer to that is anything you want. Uh, now dynamite I tried and that did not work. So, uh... Stay tuned, we get a little surprise here as to which one we will be using in just a second. There it is. Oh boy, that's a big one. Alright. Looks like we got the repeating shotgun here and we are gonna fire away. Is that enough? Uh, looks like it is. Alright, we got that thing here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, if you take a look at the slow motion replay on the left, you'll notice we use Deadeye. You can activate Deadeye by pushing in the R3 button, of course. And, of course, to tag it, you're just going to push R1 and then shoot with R2. Uh, we're using the repeating shotgun uh, to take this thing out. And this is a pretty big, uh, pretty big legendary alligator. I guess that's why they call it the legendary alligator. Now, of course, we are going to need to skin it to get it to the trapper. And we're going to hold down the triangle button to go ahead and skin it there. And this is a big, big beast. So you're going to want to have a big horse with you. Of course, you can uh, put this big uh, carcass or pelt or skin or whatever they call it on the horse. So there we got the big legendary alligator skin. And all we need to do, of course, is put it on our horse. Alternatively, you could carry it to a trapper if you wanted to, but who wants to do that? It's a lot faster to do it by horse. Now let's go ahead and shift our focus to how to get two perfect snake skins. Now the thing with snakes is, where do you find them? Sometimes you find them, sometimes they find you, and uh, they're pretty much anywhere. The th a big thing about snakes is you're looking for one that has three stars to start. If it doesn't have three stars to start, you're not going to be able to uh, get a perfect pellet, of course. Another big question is what weapon to use. Here we are using the varmint rifle. And of course the tracking feature that we discussed earlier. So we can try to locate this thing. About half the time with snakes I feel like you have to use the tracking feature to figure out where the heck they are here we're activating dead eye and we're going to tag it with our one and then of course uh, shoot with our two there looks like we got a good shot off one little caveat here one thing you may notice if you watch closely we go up to the snake it's only two stars but if you look at the replay on the left we got a good shot off we had the right weapon why is it only two stars well that's because there's a little bit of a glitch in this game and uh, when we go ahead and skin it it shows up as a perfect snake skin, which is good for us because we can trade it in as a perfect snake skin as well. Uh, just a little glitch in the game to watch out for. In the second example right here, we run into the exact same problem. Okay, we're moving forward and we happen to be scanning around and we notice there is a snake. 
Okay. And we happen to notice that it's a perfect uh, three stars. We switch to the varmint rifle. And of course we set our shots. We fire. And of course we're going to go up and take a look at it. And what do you know? Perfect pelt, right? Uh-oh. Only two stars. Come on. Really? And then uh, go ahead and skin the thing. And we find out that it is still a perfect three-star snake skin, which is what we want. For these snake pelts, I would highly recommend saving your game after you get a perfect pelt, just in case something happens you never know in this game and you would hate to lose it before you get to sell it to a trapper. Speaking of trappers, there are five different trapper locations that you can visit throughout the game. Which one you choose, of course, is up to you. Now that we are at the trapper, I assume that you know how to sell these pelts to the trapper so that all we need to do is figure out where you have to go to buy them. We're going to hold down L2 and, of course, hold down the triangle button to buy. We are going to select garment sets. And we are going to scroll down to the death roll right there. And we are going to hit X, select. Now we are going to go down to the second item right there, the legendary alligator gambler's hat. And of course, we're going to hit X to craft this beautiful hat. And now we have the hat in our possession. We can go ahead and back out and do whatever we want. But now it's equipped and saved. Well, after you've saved the game, of course. And that is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching and good luck.